All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to prime an LS motor. We're basically gonna be force feeding engine oil into the motor at a certain pressure and just getting everything lubed up, fill up all the val uh, galleys with oil, so that way when we start it up later on, I mean, it's not completely dry. I mean, it takes a quart or two just to pump up the whole damn system. So I'm gonna show you a super easy way to prime it. And this tool costs like roughly 10 to $15. Okay, so to prime the engine, all we have to do is remove this plug and force oil in here, okay? So what I did is I found um, this fitting here, which is uh, M16 by 1.5, that's the threads here. And what it has is a 1 8 NTP port here. So what I'll do is I'll put this in Just snug that up. I'll have a link for that part in the video description. Now I need to convert it to quarter inch hose barb. So I got a eighth inch to quarter NPT fitting. So I'll tighten that up. Then I got a coupler. because so I got to convert male to female. Okay, so I'll tighten that up. And then I got a fitting quarter NPT to quarter hose barb. Okay, so that'll allow us to hook up a tube in here and we're just gonna feed oil in. So let me tighten this all up and then we'll go into how we're gonna pressurize the oil in. Okay, over here is my weed sprayer. All right, so what I've done is I've taken off the wand. Okay, I measured the tubing. It's 3 8 OD, quarter inch ID. Okay, so we're gonna remove the wand, get it out of the way, and then I bought some 3 8 OD, quarter inch ID tubing. Okay, this is the siphon tube that goes in there and then this fits right over there perfect, okay? Here's the nut for that. Uh, another modification that I love to do to these things is I install a tire valve so I can air this thing up with my uh, air chuck versus pumping it with the handle a million times, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're, you know, this is clean and dry. I am gonna fill oil in here put oil in here and then we are just gonna pressurize it and then the oil is gonna flow through this hose to the hose barb we hooked up to the engine okay so let me go ahead and cut a little bit of tubing out of here all I need is a couple feet okay feed our tubing through the nozzle nut Jam it on there. Okay, this guy fits in there. Okay, that's tight. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. And then we'll just hook this up to the engine. Okay, so I'll pour my oil in and everything and uh, we'll go over to the engine. Okay, and then back here, I bought a second fitting that screws in the sending unit port and I have my oil pressure gauge. So we'll be able to monitor the oil pressure. It's just an extra thing to do, why not? Okay, so here we go. I have some oil in here. Here's the tube coming out of here. All I'm gonna do is hook it up here. Okay, so that's on there nice and tight. I'll just pump this up by hand first. So there goes the oil, okay? And eventually we'll see a couple PSI right here, right? So anyway, let me go get my air chuck. We'll add some air to this thing. All right. Okay, we're right at Okay, we're right at 20 psi. I hear a lot of noises, a lot of gurgling. It's going to take a while to fill. You got to fill the oil filter. Um, so what happens is the oil is going to come in here. Freaking cut myself. You know, here's where the oil pump is and the pickup tube picks up oil from the pan, goes here and it sends it into this channel 
to the oil filter and to the rest of the motor okay so it's definitely dropping in um, level nothing at the gauge yet because I just hear air purging so this is gonna take a little bit all right so I'm picking up a reading look at that it's going up to 10 psi I probably took a quart of oil already Let's see where my pressure's at. I've taken these up to 30 without blowing it up, so. Okay, we're at 30 PSI. Okay, this is raising, we got a little under 20. And at some point I'm gonna start rotating the motor here. gurgling probably took about a quarter and a half of oil already over 20 psi I got 30 in the tank okay oil is starting to reach up the push rod holes so you can see there so I'll give it a little more time you can see it takes a long time for oil to get that high nothing on this side yet oh there we go we got one flowing oh and there's another one right there so I'll just wait a minute and I'll rotate it and keep going all right we're pretty much getting to the end here So all the push rod holes, they're flowing oil. I put like three or four quarts into the system and we're primed, man. Everything looks good.